Exploring the White Sands National Park, a journey through the sands of time. Hi, explorers. Welcome to Whimsical World Wanderers. Welcome to White Sands National Park, one of nature's most extraordinary wonders, located in southwestern New Mexico. This surreal landscape, with its endless waves of glistening white gypsum sand, is a place of beauty, mystery, and rich history. In this video, we'll explore how this unique desert formed, the ancient life that once roamed here, its cultural significance, and why over half a million visitors flock here every year. Section 1. Where is White Sands National Park located? White Sands National Park is located in southwestern New Mexico, between Alamogordo and Las Cruces. Spanning over 145,000 acres, it's the largest gypsum dune field in the world. Its unique white sands stretch as far as the eye can see, offering a stark yet stunning contrast to the rugged mountains surrounding it. Section 2, How the Sands Were Formed To truly understand how the shimmering white dunes of White Sands National Park came to be, we need to rewind the clock over 250 million years to the Permian period. During this time, a vast shallow sea covered what is now the southwestern United States. This sea was rich in minerals, particularly gypsum, which was deposited as thick layers on the seabed. Fast forward millions of years, and tectonic forces began to reshape the region. The land was uplifted, and the ancient seabed became exposed as part of a vast mountain building process. Over time, these gypsum deposits eroded and were carried by rivers and streams into low-lying basins. About 30 million years ago, during the Tertiary period, the Rio Grande Rift began to form, splitting the Earth's crust and creating the Tularosa Basin. This geological event was crucial in shaping the landscape we see today. Over millions of years, the surrounding mountains, rich in gypsum and other minerals, continued to erode, contributing to the basin's mineral deposits. Approximately 10,000 to 20,000 years ago, during the last ice age, the region was cooler and wetter, and a massive lake, known as Lake Otero, filled the Tularosa Basin. When the climate began to warm, Lake Otero gradually dried up, leaving behind extensive salt flats composed of gypsum. What was left behind were large crystals of selenite, a clear form of gypsum scattered across the basin. These crystals were broken down over millennia by freeze-thaw cycles, wind and water into tiny sand-like particles. Winds sweeping through the basin carried these particles forming the rolling dunes that now stretch across 275 square miles, the largest gypsum dune field on Earth. Unlike typical silica sand, gypsum is water-soluble, making this dune field incredibly unique. The presence of a shallow underground water table helps stabilize the dunes and keeps them from being blown away entirely. The combination of ancient seas, tectonic forces, ice age lakes, and modern winds created this dazzling natural masterpiece.
Fun fact. Unlike silica-based sand, gypsum doesn't retain heat, so the dunes remain cool to the touch, even under the desert sun. Section 3, Ancient Life and Fossil Discoveries. White Sands National Park is not only a breathtaking natural wonder, but also a treasure trove of ancient history. The area was once a lush grassland teeming with Ice Age megafauna and prehistoric animals. Colombian mammoths towering up to 14 feet at the shoulder and weighing as much as 10 tons as well as saber-toothed cats once roamed the area. Alongside the mammoths and saber-toothed cats, other fascinating creatures roamed this prehistoric world. Giant ground sloths, some as tall as 20 feet when standing on their hind legs, lumbered through the area, feeding on vegetation. Dire wolves, an extinct species larger than modern gray wolves, hunted in packs, preying on animals like camels and bison that once grazed here. Yes, camels and even horses, which later went extinct in North America, were native to this land. The fossil record also suggests the presence of predators like American lions, which were among the largest cats to have ever lived. One of the most astonishing discoveries in recent years is a set of fossilized human footprints found within the park, dating back over 23,000 years. These footprints are some of the oldest direct evidence of human activity in the Americas, pushing back the timeline of when people first arrived on the continent. These tracks provide a wealth of information about the behavior of both humans and animals, painting a vivid picture of life in this ancient landscape. The discoveries at White Sands offer an unparalleled glimpse into a world long gone, a world where humans and animals coexisted in a delicate balance. Section 4 Indigenous and Old West History of the Tularosa Basin. The story of White Sands extends beyond its natural beauty to the people who have called this region home for thousands of years. Long before it became a national park, the Tularosa Basin was inhabited by Native American tribes, most notably the Mescalero Apache. The Mescalero Apache thrived in this arid environment, adapting to the harsh conditions with remarkable ingenuity. They utilized the area's natural resources for food, shelter, and tools. Yucca plants, for example, were an essential resource. They provided fibers for rope and baskets, and their roots were used to create soap. The Apache also held a deep spiritual connection to the land. The dunes were seen as a sacred place and their stories and traditions were interwoven with the natural world around them. Petroglyphs and other artifacts found in the region tell of their long-standing presence and their deep respect for the land's power and mystery. In addition to the Apache, earlier cultures such as the Hornada Mogollon also inhabited the Tularosa Basin, leaving behind amazing archaeological evidence. These ancient artworks provide glimpses into their beliefs, daily lives, and interactions with the environment.
As the United States expanded westward in the 19th century, the Tularosa Basin became a crossroads of cultures and a hotspot for conflict. The Tularosa Basin became part of the storied American West, with cowboys, ranchers, and outlaws carving their own paths in this rugged landscape. Stories of gunfights, cattle rustling, and the harsh realities of frontier life became part of the area's lore. One famous legend from this period is tied to the famous outlaw Billy the Kid, who roamed southern New Mexico and was reportedly active near the Tularosa Basin. The stark white dunes, though a challenging environment, often provided cover and refuge for those seeking to evade capture. Today, the Native American and Old West histories of White Sands are preserved and celebrated through interpretive programs and ongoing research. Section 5, White Sands becomes a national park. In 1933, President Herbert Hoover designated the area as a national monument to protect its natural wonders, and it was later upgraded to national park status in 2019. Each year, more than 600,000 visitors come to explore White Sands. Whether you're hiking, sledding down the dunes, or stargazing under pristine night skies, there's something for everyone. The park offers scenic drives, picnic areas, and ranger-led programs that dive into its natural and cultural history. Remember, temperatures can vary greatly, so pack accordingly, and don't forget plenty of water. White Sands National Park is more than just a stunning landscape. It's a living testament to nature's resilience and beauty. It's a place where history, science, and sheer wonder converge. Thank you for joining us on this journey through White Sands National Park. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more adventures into our world's most incredible places.